Hi, and welcome back. Today I'll share how to export a MetaHuman from Unreal Engine and rig it for Clo 3D. Step one, create a MetaHuman and download it to your Unreal project via Quixel Bridge. Find your MetaHuman in the content browser and locate the individual head and body skeletons. Drag them into the world and copy and paste their location and rotation information. My model has a beard, mustache, and hair, so I will locate those static mesh files and place them. Do not use the helmets or grooms as they are not compatible in Clo 3D. Step two, let's fix the material problems. Locate an image file of some hair online and drag it into the content browser. Right click and create a material. Open the static mesh and apply the new material. Then go to the material editor and add a texture coordinate plugging it into the UV. I found that 12 U tiling and 6 V tiling works best. Open the other hair meshes and apply this new material. Step three, let's create static meshes for the head and body. Select the head in the world and go to actor and convert to static mesh. I choose the root of my MetaHumans folder for its save location. You may find that the materials are applied incorrectly. Open that new static mesh and reassign the materials. This part is counterintuitive because the slots are named for each eye, head, and teeth, but they don't match up. So you have to switch them. Repeat the same process for the body. This static mesh will likely have one material. Step four. Now let's select all of the static meshes, right click and choose Asset Actions, Bulk Export. Unreal defaults to using an FBX exporter, which is fine. Choose a folder location to save them. There it creates a game folder that you can dive into and move out your FBX files. I moved all mine to the root folder and deleted the remaining folders to keep it clean. Step five. Now let's export the remaining troublesome materials. First, You'll find the material for the eyes were exported. However, these are not useful for a simple texture in Clo 3D. Instead, locate the material for the eye and open the editor. Position the camera and change the scene to unlit. Then take a screenshot and save that to your export folder. 
Now navigate to the textures folder for your head and body. You will find a base color, normal map, and specular map. If you select all and bulk export, it will create PNG files. However, they have an embedded alpha channel that's problematic. Instead, right click each one and export it as a target file. Open each target file in Photoshop and save a new PNG. I created a special PNG textures folder for my model. At the end of the video, I will show you how to retexture these in Blender. However, you don't need to do that now. Step six, open Blender and import your FBX files. Change their scale to 0.1, and that should be correct for Clo 3D. You'll find the hair material remains intact and other materials are blank. That's okay. Delete the camera and light. Export as an FBX file, choosing copy for your materials. Now you can upload this temporary FBX file to Mixamo. Choose a T-Pose for Mixamo and export your file with skin. Step 7. Open Clo 3D and import the new FBX file for Mixamo. Select the head and choose the base color image from your PNG folder. Change the base color to all white. Do the same process for the body and for the eyes. Now your MetaHuman is posable in Clo 3D. Step 8. If you want to retexture the model in Blender, then do the following. Select the material and open your shader. If your material does not have an image associated, then click the button to add one. Now select Shift D to duplicate this image node 